everyone welcome back to my channel I am going to be answering some of your questions today I put out a call for questions on both my Instagram and then as well on my YouTube um, community tab asking you for questions celebrating reaching 5,000 subscribers on my channel so thanks to you guys for all helping me out and subscribing and watching and commenting and um, just all your encouragement so you guys asked me some questions and now I am going to answer them I will try to get to them all quickly if I can't get to them all or I start talking um, longer <laughs> than I should, being more long-winded, then I will divide it into two parts. But let's see if we can get all these questions answered today in this video. So first I'm going to go to Instagram. I'm going to find my post and see what you guys asked me. So the first question I got was, how did you and your husband meet and do you still think you'll have to move soon? So the moving question was answered on a video I did um, last week, but do how did you and your husband meet? Um, sorry, there's lots of background noise right now. We met at church. We met when I was 14 and my husband was 13. Um, my next question, are you guys done having kids and what denomination are you? Stephanie asked. Um, we believe that we're done having kids. That's definitely the plan. That five is, we're done. Um, and number two, what denomination are you? We are Baptist. Okay, and then Catherine asked me, I'd love to know when you find the time to fit YouTube in with so many kids. Um, yeah, that is hard. <laughs> um, it's been especially tricky since Wesley has been born um, to find time to do my YouTube channel. I'll tell you guys this. Um, cause soon after Wesley was born and I was, I don't know, I was trying to put videos out and I was saying that I was taking take a little break and, um, some people were commenting saying, take a break, like you just had a baby, like take a long break, as long as you need, whatever. Um, and I did take a little bit of a break, but I, I pretty much got right back into it. And that is because I love doing it and I really, really enjoy doing it. Um, I don't see it as a job that's like, okay, I need a vacation. I don't, um, I really don't see it like that. I see it as my hobby. I really enjoy doing these videos. And so it's like whatever your hobby is that you find time to do each day, whether it is knitting or sewing or um, what other hobbies do you guys have? I don't know. Whatever your hobby is, you'll find time for. And so this to me is my hobby. So um, I find time to do it. And like I said, it is a little bit trickier now. Um, number one, I will say, I have gotten so much more efficient at all the aspects of making a YouTube video. I've gotten a lot faster at setting up my camera, um, knowing my angles and stuff. Um, I've gotten so much faster at editing and making thumbnails and just the actual editing of my videos I have gotten so much more efficient at as well. So it doesn't take me as long as it used to. I do have an hour during the day when I know that the kids are having their quiet time. Again, that has been tricky since Wes has been born because he's not always napping at that time and so that's why sometimes he is in my videos. Um, I'll edit in the evenings. My husband sometimes works in the evenings so those evenings I try to edit. Um, yeah, it is tricky and it's little bits and pieces here and there, like I'll just spend 15 minutes on it here making my thumbnail and then 15 minutes later it's very split up, but um, yeah, I just, I just make time um, to get it done because I do really enjoy it. My next question was, what area of Ontario do you live in? We are in um, Central, what, is it called Central Ontario where we are or is it, yeah, we're in Central Ontario. Um, are you still moving? Okay, um, again, that was answered on the Laundro chat that went up last week. So I'm gonna go over to YouTube, YouTube now where I got some questions on my post. My next question is a good one that I don't think I've been asked before, and this is from Nikki Schumacher, and she said, congrats, my question is, what is your childhood backstory? Siblings, upbringing, etc." So I was, or I am, the third of 10 kids. My parents, one mom, one dad had 10 kids. Um, I was homeschooled. I was very a very conservative family, very sheltered. So my siblings and I are all two years apart, and except for the 10th. So between my youngest two brothers, there are five years, I think. My youngest brother is 
I always forget how old he is. It's hard to keep track, but I believe he is 14 right now. He's 14. Um, but yeah, there's two years between each of us. We had a really, really close relationship growing up. Um, we, we did everything together. Um, like I said, um, conservative family, we are very strong Christian home. And I don't really know what else to say about our childhood backstory. Um, so if you have any other questions about that, let me know. But that's really um, my family. My next question is from Jerica. And she asked a good one too. What's your testimony? How did you get saved? So, um, this could be like a whole video in and of itself. But when I was, I, like I said, grew up in a Christian home. So I heard about salvation um, all the time. Um, when I was five, I, I don't remember exactly the situation. I don't know if it was written my older sister got saved or if she was just... Um, really wanted me to get saved but she was saying to me like you need to get saved I don't want you to go to hell um and I was like okay I need to get saved so I went and talked to my mom and we prayed and I remember praying with her so so well I remember the day I remember where we were but I also remember that um I wasn't quite sure she was asking me questions and I was answering but I wasn't quite sure of my answers. Like I wasn't quite ready to accept Jesus yet. I wasn't quite at the um, understanding yet. So I prayed that day um, and I was probably good for a couple years before I really started to doubt my salvation and I doubted my salvation all the time. Like every day um, something would come up that I would think, I don't know if I'm gonna go to heaven. I don't know if I'm saved. Um, and so I prayed like all the time. Lord, please save me. Help me to go to heaven. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I prayed that prayer regularly. I knew that once you're saved, you're always saved. That's my belief. Um, but I just, I wasn't sure. And it was just my faith. I didn't have that faith. Um, because Jesus promised that um, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But I kept doubting it. And then um, one day when I was 12, a little girl in our church had just died. And um, someone had said, you know, like, at least she was saved and she's going to heaven. And I remember just being like heartbroken and just like, I don't know if I'm going to heaven um, and really, really scared about it. And so um, I went that night and talked to my mom. I was 12. I don't know if I said that. And um, my mom talked with me. I prayed. And um, I think just talking to my mom about it and my mom just showing me the scriptures really helped me to really feel um, assurance that night like okay I am saved I asked Jesus to my heart um, and that was the last time I prayed <laughs> I didn't ever pr um, pray for salvation again because I knew that I was saved that being said I don't think that was the night that I got saved because I had prayed many times before and had been sincere I just wasn't um, it's hard to explain, but I just was unsure. I just kept doubting and doubting and doubting. So I don't know for sure which time I actually truly accepted Jesus. Um, but that was the last time that I just read scripture and realized like, I am saved and Jesus has promised, um, me a home in heaven and I don't need to doubt this again. So that is my salvation story. Um, okay, my next question is from Rachel, and she said, are y'all going to homeschool all the way through? We are. Um, I don't know for sure. I would love to homeschool for a few more years for sure, um, many more years, but I'm definitely taking it year by year, and I don't want to say like, yes, we are for sure, or no, we're not. I don't know. We're just taking it year by year, and we'll just kind of reevaluate each year and see um, how it's all going, and um I will say I'm a little bit unsure about homeschooling in high school. I know it can be done. I was homeschooled in high school, but high school is when um, I see a lot more advantages in um, other educational uh, methods um, that can't be done in homeschool, but at the same point, you can totally homeschool in high school as well. So like I said, we're just gonna take it year by year and when we get up to those higher grades, especially like grade 10, 11, 12 kind of thing, um, we'll see at that point. But yeah, we're taking it year by year. <laughs> um, let's see, what are your thoughts? Deanna asked me, what are your thoughts on your YouTube journey this far and what have you learned? That's a good one. Um, 
like I said, I really enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy doing it. And if there comes a time that I really just feel like I have to take out the camera and film a video, um, then I think my YouTube journey is probably done because I, I don't want to do it for that reason. I want to do it because I really, really enjoy it. And I do. Um, the things I've learned so far, I have... I have learned a lot. On one hand, I have really loved learning all the um, technical and creative like editing skills. I think that is a really good skill to have and I've had a lot of fun learning how to edit videos and how to like, you know, add music to my videos and add um, titles to my videos and just piecing these videos together. I've really, really enjoyed the editing aspect of it. Um, another thing which might sound kind of silly, but um, I feel like it's prepared me a little bit um, and be a little bit more confident in speaking in public. And I do not like speaking in public, like public speaking at all, like not my thing. Um, and I've only done it a handful of times, but I dread it. And I still do. I still, this is not making me a public speaker by any means, <laughs> filming videos. But I would say it makes me a little bit more confident in that I have prepared um, things to talk about and then had to give them to the camera, to you guys. And so I've kind of had that preparation aspect as well. Just editing my videos. I hear the things that I do that are annoying. So I hear when I am, um, when I am saying um a lot, like I just did, I say um a ton, I realized while editing my videos. I realize like awkward faces I might make or awkward movements. I don't know. I realize more about myself because I'm not looking in the mirror usually talking to myself. So I see different aspects um, of me as I'm editing my videos. And so I think that's made me feel a little bit more comfortable if I'm talking to other people like, okay, Julie, don't like that weird face or... Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like I can be a little bit more confident knowing what I've learned from uh, sitting down and doing videos. That is what I feel like I have learned on this journey. If you have any more questions, leave those down below and I'll try to answer them down below in the comments. And uh, if you have any more video ideas or anything for me, or if you have any more questions on what I answer that you want me to go more in depth into, I would definitely consider doing a video um, entirely on that subject. But thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you for being part of this 5,000 subscriber milestone. I am so excited and so glad for you guys that have decided to join my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.